Be teaming up to show you how to create a larger than life Halloween photo op is Paige Hemis and Orly Shani, the That's right. larger That's than right. lives, beautiful right. girl. Green Almost team right as here. delicious as that brisket. Oh, oh, not like, quite as sweet, good, though. We love How'd you. How you guys come up with this idea? Well, you know, we have so many family members and yeah. so many friends that stop by here, and we don't really have a photo booth. I mean, you can take a no. picture in the house or in the backyard or buy a trailer, but a place where everyone can come and kind of hashtag yeah. that this is where they were, we thought it would be perfect to have all year round yeah. a place for people to take take a little photo op. Yeah, and we wanted to try to figure out something that we could do specific for now that will work with getting this house ready for Halloween, right. something that would fit in with the theme for right now. This can always evolve. And our amazing Dave Lowe and Tara, when we were in Dollywood, they took this fantastic photo that gave us all the inspiration oh we needed. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? So of course, Dave, uh, you know, the man who can make anything happen was like, yes. oh sure, yeah, no, we can do that. No problem. Yeah, no problem. And so, we did! Look at this sucker! I mean, you it's really incredible. did. You guys teamed up together to build this guy. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. You got started earlier today. Let's take a look. It was so fun. You'll never guess what this stuff is actually made out of. It's pumpkins! What? Pumpkins, PVC. I'll show you okay, the whole thing. Okay, that's crazy. So you cut the top of the pumpkin off, and then go ahead and turn it over and cut the bottom off. You only just want it to be flat enough to fit on top of another pumpkin. So you do that to all of them except the bottom one because you're going to need to screw that one in. So now you take your glue gun or dueling glue guns as we had there, yeah. <laughs> glue the bottom of the one that's sitting on top, do it again and again and again. You kind of want a little gangsta lean on nice. it. Yeah, you want to angle because it's going to be a king like, on... right. like, like a six foe. Like a six foe. Yeah, six like foe. a finger. Just imagine you know, you're about to grab somebody off of a building. Wow. So we painted it uh, black, glossy, and then this is the structure that Orly and I are standing on right now. We took one by fours, put them together just in a little T formation, added angle brackets and then for the top again just took a piece of one by three and screwed it in it doesn't have to be that pretty because it's going to be covered up even though I mean that looks gorgeous to gorgeous nice. yes so then we took our pumpkin structure so and screwed just right into the pumpkins yep. screwed that right oh into gosh. the pumpkins um now here comes the arm now, what you might be seeing here are some uh, hula hoops. hoops and some yeah. PVC pipe. No, these are King Kong's arms, but this is how we did it. <laughs> we took hula hoops, got four PVC pipes, went all the way down, and then we hung this off of only two screws wow. off the house. So this is something that it can evolve, you know, like, I, I like mean, Orly said. You guys, I am yeah. so impressed always with everything that you guys and Dave does, but this time, I mean, this is oh, so it's, it's with the paint on the pumpkins. It started to come alive, Nobody but only then a pumpkin. you then yes. added yeah. the fur. And then look, we have, we added fur here. And really the cool thing about this is that the fur itself doesn't need to be cut in any particular shape or sewn in any particular way. This was done with zip ties, but you yep. can easily do it with safety pins or strips of the Velcro tape or anything that you want. This was really just draped over and yep. then hidden on the side. Yeah, and wait. we did the same with the front. Right under here is that wood structure. So all we did was drape it over to cover it because now he's got his furry palm. Yes. Did the fur come from Matt Rogers' back? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. We We've been we cultivating it, it over segment. the last we got month. We've yeah. been cultivating <laughs> it. Yeah. I mean, honestly, but it doesn't stop there. The creativity continues. It couldn't just be King Kong's hand because right. you had to make a Face. King I mean, Kong's page. face. Yeah. Now this is just a regular window. This is actually one of the windows into the garage. And we took, look at how easy this stuff. I've used this a ton of times on the show. It's polystyrene. It's actually used for insulation. I got some that is just a half inch thick. And then you just cut it out and use hot glue to paste little things on it. The rest is like right here. Oh, he's soft and furry. If you ever come across the real one, I don't suggest doing that. Yeah. Um, but then the rest is just painting a face. So you can make this anything. I mean, even if the Easter Bunny was coming to town, you can make that an Easter Bunny and this yes. an Easter Bunny's hand. And you know I noticed I mean? the cracks there, but you also have some props here. Orly, how did you do this? Yeah, you know, I think that's one of the parts of photo booths that people get really jazzed on, is not only do you have a really great setup and an excuse to take cool photos, but then you've got all these signs and funny faces and yeah. things that go along with it. So we have a huge banana. We made a huge <laughs> airplane. These are fun things, but this right here is something that I really, really want to focus on because this is really versatile. So what we did is we took uh, foam, just, you know, foam core, like foam poster board or whatever, mm -hmm. and drew 
out and cut them into the shape of word bubbles. Now that in and of itself is not anything special. That's it's so cute. Found very what am I often. thinking? But <laughs> nothing, Thank you guys. This it's is blank. the coolest DIY you've ever done. Is yeah. what you're thinking. This stuff right here. This turns absolutely anything into an instant dry erase board. Wow. So you can paint this. By the way, if you weren't even doing this for a photo op, you could paint this on the walls of your kids' bedrooms, and they could draw and write their ideas and doodle, and then. I so wish I had a dry erase board. Erase board. It's clear. It's clear. clear. Yeah. So what you we can put did, it on anything. 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 Oh. So what we did is we put it on the foam core. That way now these can be dry erased. I can use it for now when this is our particular theme. But this is going to be a revolving photo booth. Paige and I are going to be doing this all the time. So now these word bubbles can change as our set changes. Yes. Wow. Which is, I mean, wow. tell me that's just not the coolest thing ever. And so while you're writing, come check this out. So like this is our hashtag. So if you guys at home ever want to do this and show us your pictures at home, it is HF Halloween photo booth that is right there it's the hashtag but you guys can make your own hashtag if you're having a party what are you writing uh dave told me this was the last line in the movie twas beauty that killed the beast oh, wow. oh isn't that so poetic and it's so the beast. okay poetic. so I'm taking okay, this, this one. Is, this is no small DIY, so oh. I can't imagine it cost you twenty dollars. How much actually, did this cost? Because we're using inexpen inexpensive things like PVC and fur and cheap pumpkins, we only spent about two hundred dollars. And if you try to buy one of these in the store, there's, there's nothing like this, no, by the way. No, you can't buy anything. But you know like those this. inflatable ones that right, kind of do right. this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. $475. MPS, if you put this in your front yard for Halloween, this, you are going to be the coolest yeah, family in the neighborhood. All right, yes. we're going to break it in. Let's do a photo. Okay, okay. Jeremy, take a picture. Okay. Come take a so photo. we've got to be, we're like Wait, terrified, we, right? Like yeah. he's like coming right, for guys. us. He's going to grab the banana ah. too. Take a bite out of that banana. Oh. That's it. Perfect, guys. That's awesome. Just one. That's oh, too just late. <laughs> 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 no, it's perfect, guys. Oh my That's God. 